We're broadcasting live from Music City at Newsom Stadium. The moon is full and the fans are ready for a howling good time. The Lycans love carnage, so this should be a good one. Hey, Grant, what do werewolves love but vampires hate? Now, that would be stakes, Bricks. Oh, I can't believe you know it. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The Cardinal Sins go up against the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on the shoulder of Bricks Jr. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. See that again. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. <laughs> and he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. And this werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Tim's hotel party the other night. His hair was perfect. Better watch out, he'll rip your lungs out, Bricks. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Third down and, well, good luck. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And 
and that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. <laughs> Intercepted. Third down and nine. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a time grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Put Rattel with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. He just got crushed. And that'll bring up second and one. No, oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. catch but not quite good enough at nine yards and that'll bring up second and one first down oh that was totally uncalled for and that's why we love the mfl And it's first and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. so hard I know I said never hit a man when he's down it's just plain lazy nice extra effort there second down and seven Saving tackle right there. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's
yards, first and ten. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. No matter anything really tastes good. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all Oh, mama. Just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And that'll bring up third and one. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. Second down in a very lot. Uh, is the game over yet? I gotta go to the fifth to half free attacks by Big Coda where my thumb was again. It just fell off for the third time today. I was barely even chewing on it. player who goes down fighting. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. Yeah, lucky to have survived so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. And it's first and ten. Catch for a 10-yard gain. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Man, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Third down and nine. Man, these guys have metal ball. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Do they jingle when they run? They play, you moron. He said balls, not bells. Stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped. Is that right, Glenn? That penalty makes no sense. Hey, something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. Yeah, 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 yeah. The offense lost their last quarterback. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit the game. And it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. You know, Bricks, when the ref is faster than your football team, you've got some serious issues. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery.
First down in a mile. It was a risky throw, and the defense made him pay. He'll have to hope for amnesia or brain damage and move on. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. And that's a large feet dirty trick. That ball just flies through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That would be fantastic. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. I Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> the Nashville Lycans win at home by forfeit. There's got to be a country song about this, right? How even when they win, they still feel like losers. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? I think for admission, I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, man, I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. <laughs> Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.